Hi guys, this is Miss Navarro. Um, we are gonna do our poetry journals today. And since we are learning about animals born alive, I brought a poem about a farm. On a farm, you fi find a lot of animals born alive, a lot of mammals. So we're gonna read this poem together as a class. And then I would like you to copy down this poem yourselves. So what you can do after we read it is you can pause the video and copy it down yourself. And then we can find our sight words and our rhyming words. So starting with the title, this poem is called To the Farm. Horses, donkeys, cows that moo, chickens, kittens, piglets too, fish that swim down in the pond, ducklings quacking all day long. All these animals you can see if you go to the farm with me. Nice job, guys. I think I could hear some of you reading along, but I'm gonna read it one more time and I'm gonna actually move my camera up a little bit closer so we can read it one more time as a class. And I want a big, loud presentation voice before we uncircle our rhyming words starting with the title, To the Farm. Horses, donkeys, cows that moo, chickens, kittens, piglets too, fish that swim down in the pond, ducklings quacking all day long. All these animals you can see if you go to the farm with me. Wow, guys, oh, this is so exciting. So let's circle in a colored marker our rhyming words. So we'll look at the first stanza, the first two sentences, and we'll listen to just these first two sentences and try and see if we can find what rhymes. Horses, donkeys, cows that moo, chickens, kittens, Piglets, too. Do you know what rhymes? Very good. Moo and two. Nice. Two without the ta is oo. Moo without the ma is oo. Very good. These two rhyming words end in oo, oo. Nice. Now, let's see the next two sentences what rhymes, starting with fish. Fish that swim down in the pond, ducklings quacking all day long. Hmm, what rhymes here? Very good, pond and long. Now pond and long are kind of an interesting rhyme because if you actually listen to the ending of it, they don't sound the exact same. They're not an exact rhyme. But for the purpose of the poem, whoever wrote this rhymed pond with long because they sound just kind of similar. They both have the ah, 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 the O oh that makes the ah sound. So we will circle this as two of our rhyming words. And for our word families, we will use the word pond. Pond without the P is on. Very good. Let's look at our next stanza, our next two sentences. All these animals you can see if you go to the farm with me. What rhymes there? Very good, see and me. See without the s is e. Me without the m is e. Awesome. So now what I'm gonna ask you to do is draw a word family house. And I want you to pick one of the rhymes in this sentence. There are three rhymes in this sentence. There's moo and two is one rhyme. Pond and long is two rhymes. See and me is three rhymes. So you pick whichever rhyme you would like to do. Okay, great. We'll do moo and two. Moo and two both end in what? Two double O is ooh, very good. So. We're gonna draw the top of our house and the body of our house. And up here, we are going to put 
the a dash and then the ending sound. Moo without the ma is oo. Very good. So we're going to do double O. And then we are going to write moo and two. Up in the top of our house, we wrote moo and two. Now we are going to come up with one, two, three words that rhyme with moo and two. Can you think of one? Very good, like boo. Another one could be poo or new or who. There's so many that we could choose from. So I would like you to come up with one, two, three rhyming words that rhyme with moo. Now you don't have to do moo and two. You can do pond or you can do sea. Either way, you are gonna wanna put on the top of your house the, the ending sound of the rhyme. So. Pond without the p is on. And you would try and think of words that rhyme with pond, such as bond, pond, cond. Or if you did C, you would do C without the s is e. And you'd think of words that rhyme with C, such as be, he, she. Nice. So I would like you to pick one rhyme from the story and do a word family house. After that, we are going to go in with our um, with a different colored marker, and we are going to underline our sight words. So, starting with the title, what's a sight word in the title? To the farm. I see two of them. Very good. Two is a sight word, and B is a sight word. Now, reading our first sentence, horses, donkeys, cows, that moo. Who sees a sight word in that sentence? Nice, that. Chickens, kittens, Piglets, two. What's a sight word in that sentence? Very good. Two is also a sight word. Fish that swim down in the pond. Ooh, I see three sight words in this sentence. Fish that is a sight word. Swim down in is a sight word. The is a sight word as well. Pond. Fish that swim down in the pond. Ducklings quacking all day long. What's a sight word in that sentence? Very good, all. All these animals you can see. Ooh, I see a lot of sight words in this one. All these animals you is a sight word. Can and see. Those are all sight words besides animals. All these animals you can see. If you is a sight word. Go to, go and to are both sight words. The is a sight word. Farm, with is a sight word, and me. Oh my goodness, we have so many sight words in this poem. So I would like you to choose three sight words of the many that we underlined and write them three times at the bottom of your poem. So I'm gonna do mine under my word family house. And I'm gonna choose a trickier one. I'm gonna do these. These is a sight word. I'm going to write the T H E S E. These, I'm going to write it three times. These, these, these. What's another sight word we could choose from? Very good, we can do with. With, w, i, t, h makes the sound, and I would write that three times. And then the last one I would pick could be, let's see, I'm gonna do c. E, e. Double E makes the E sound, C, and you would write that three times. After you've done your word family house with one rhyme of the poem, three sight words underlined in the poem, I would like you to draw one of the animals mentioned in the poem. You could draw a horse, a donkey, a cow, a chicken, a kitten, a pig, a fish, or a duckling. Any of these animals that you might see on a farm, you can draw in your poetry journal. I can't wait to see your work. I'm so excited.